Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me. Welcome to Chit Chat with QT. The views that I express are my own personal opinions and reactions for research and commentary, and everything is alleged. Join me while I discuss hot topics, reality TV, celebrity news, and more. Please make sure to like the video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. So guys, let's get into this quick video. Miss Sheree Whitfield went Instagram public with her boo, Mr. Martell Holtz. So we do know that Martell has been in Atlanta all weekend. I do have his live that I will play at the end of this of him being drunk as a skunk at Chateau Sheree. But as far as their relationship, like I mentioned, Sheree shared on her birthday post pictures of her and Martel as a couple. So I'll read you guys Sheree's caption, but I do want to say this. I was looking at Dustin and Carlos King's sit down and it was absolutely great, but they did mention something. As far as Sheree, she was a fan of Love and Marriage Huntsville, and she also knew the history of Martel. But in getting to know him, she said several times, he's totally different from what we see on TV. I must say, they do look good together. A lot of us felt like this relationship was, you know, for the show or for a storyline. But when I watched Martel's live, when he was at Chateau Charest, that solidified for me that their relationship is real. Martel knew all of the friends, all of them. Martel was very comfortable. He was walking around in flip-flops and all of that. So you don't have flip-flops at a friend's house. No, you took off your regular shoes and you got your flip-flops because you're at your girl's house and you're comfortable. So I do like them together. Sheree, what did she say she was? Old but cold. And yes, she is. And speaking of old but cold, remember Coleslaw said he ain't want no old biatches. Um, looks like that's false. <laughs> so anyway, guys, let me go ahead and read you guys Sheree's caption. And as I mentioned at the end, Take a look at Martel being drunk as a skunk. I've never seen Martel like that. I got so many chuckles. Martel was lit lit. So take a look, guys. But Sheree said, I had so much love and fun celebrating my birthday yesterday that I didn't get a chance to post. I had such an incredible birthday. A full day of love, pampering, great food. Thanks, Cairo for making me the best brunch ever. And it looks like she meant making our stomachs hurt with laughter. And it still hurts. This year have started off amazing and I can't say enough how much I love, enjoy, and appreciate being with my family, friends, and loved ones. Thank you all for making my day as incredible as it was. Those who missed it, don't fret. I'm celebrating all month. And then she put, and a huge thanks to everyone who wished me a happy birthday. You guys just don't know how much more special you made my day. My motto for the next chapter is, F it, enjoy the moment. Because these past couple years has shown us that life is too short. So we need to be sure to enjoy every moment. Then she put, wishing all my Capricorn and January boos a happy birthday as well. Now, I do know Mr. Holt's birthday is in January as well. I believe within the next couple days or so. So I'm not sure if he celebrated his birthday alongside Sheree or if they will celebrate his separately. But anyway, take a look at some of the guests that was at Sheree's birthday bash. 
and it looks like it was a couple people from Real Housewives of Atlanta, Cynthia Bailey, Marlo, and just a whole lot of people. So Sheree was busy this weekend because her house was jam-packed. After you look at who was at her birthday, take a look at Mr. Holt's drunken lies. Happy New Year to y'all. Happy 2023. Listen. I've been um, drinking pineapple juice and that's it. Happy 2023. Look. Look at these women in here. These women here getting it in. And there's a single man out there. No. Ain't number of women on my live. No, Judy. Look at Judy. I don't know why all the men. Judy, stop, Judy. Hook y'all up. Hook you up with what? Women? No, me. Well, I got too much for a woman. Hook us all up with some men, some good men. If you know any good men, I am available. I'm a good woman. Shut up, Martin. You a great woman. No, I am. I am. Until you start talking so much. I can't stand. What's she, what she doing? <laughs> what's she doing? She oh, I wasted. You didn't turn on your hair. Put that pudding. Martin. Oh, oh, good. I'm hiring him. You hiring him? I'm hiring him. Oh, what's hell. the banana pudding? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you made that, right? Yeah. You're the, yes. you're a cook. You got to try that. Oh, I'm hey. gonna try both of them. Here's the real MVP right here, Mary. Thank you for that food. Welcome. Hey, what kind of fish is that? Oh, flounder and catfish. Tell her who your other dad is. She wanna know who your other dad is. No, oh, hold on, nigga. No, 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 okay. Oh, no, it's just speak from. Oh, you said. Hey, ask me. Did, who raised him? Who raised him? Did he get any money? The third hand, the third floor. Who helped raise you? Off of it, right? <laughs> oh, 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 my tail. I walked in something. Y'all don't know my tail. I'm a drink. But I walked in some banana pudding. Do that again, you won't walk again. I'm in the kitchen, right? Listen, happy 2023. Judy, what you doing in the kitchen? If, 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 if this woman right here would be in the kitchen, she would be married by now. So right now, she's putting on the front. You putting on the front, Judy. 
Judy is putting on. The reason why I'm not mad is because I don't take no meds. Don't take no meds from who, though? Men, y'all want to tell us what to do, when to do, how to do it. I ain't be up from that club. I'm just not be up from that Don't you want to have a good life? It's okay to listen to a man sometimes. Sometimes. She don't listen to a man anytime. No matter what they doing. What's up? How y'all doing? Hold on, you know what? Let me look at some of these comments. Hold on. Just ask and listen. No, you ain't gotta say right. You ain't gotta be agreeing with Judy. Judy standing. Judy, she's standing. Listen, she wants some notoriety. That's what, that's what Judy, Judy and Arthur, they both want to be on the camera. Candy camera. Look at Judy. Hey, coming through, coming through, coming through. Ready. Hey, look at Arthur. Ready. Listen. Look at him, he's so scary. Listen, if y'all know, I ain't going to say the name, but if y'all know the dog Gotti, if y'all know the dog guy, y'all know he's a little scary. Uh uh. Who am I talking about? Why you didn't tell my back, back? Why you didn't tell me that I was about to back into this pet row, this this column? Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, Gotti is a very vicious and tough dog. What, what they doing? Got a couple groupies right there. Got a couple groupies. Ready for the guys. Basketball players. <laughs> Hold on, y'all watch them. Hold on. Y'all go walk down the stairs with me, all right? Let's go. Yeah, I got my flip flops on. Let's go, y'all. Y'all want to perform or something? Y'all gonna perform? No? So guys, I had to mute the rest of Martel's live because he went downstairs where there is a a lot of music playing but it was a pretty long live and like i said he was lit lit but anyway drop down in the comments let me know if you are now convinced that what martel and sheree has is real chat with you guys soon bye